Now to a harrowing story of survival. Run over in her own driveway, 24 weeks pregnant, she survived, and her youngest son has since been born. Tonight, for the first time, we are hearing from the North Suburban woman who was attacked and carjacking, left her crawling down her driveway to rescue one of her sons still in the back seat. CBS 2's Chris I spoke with her today, and Chris, she is now suing her car maker. She is, that's right. She says they failed her when she needed them most to digitally track the car with that two year old in the back. Volkswagen had the technology, but they were unwilling to help in those critical moments until $150 was paid after her trial run had expired. Taylor Shepard was six months pregnant with baby Noah here when a routine pet store visit ended with someone bolting from this white BMW outside her house, attacking her in her Libertyville driveway, taking her car and running her over. So they ran over my entire left side of my body. There was tire tracks all over the left side of my stomach. Tracks from a car containing her attacker in the front seat and her two-year-old son Isaiah still buckled up in the back. And I was just willing to do anything to get to that car and get my baby out. I think the mama bear and everybody can relate. She called police, police called Volkswagen. And the online configuration wizard will guide you through all the necessary steps. Their CarNet GPS tracking software could provide a real-time location of the vehicle and the two-year-old. But police were told Taylor's free trial had expired and $150 was needed to help. It kind of boggled my mind, to be honest with you. I couldn't couldn't understand it. Nor could police. As the search for the VW widened, Taylor was taken to the ER, kept in the dark on the uncooperative car maker. I didn't even think that that would be an issue, that Volkswagen would refuse to tell us where our son was, especially when it's a kidnapping and every second matters. It's life or death that we're going to get him home. Eventually, VW was paid, but by then Isaiah was found in a parking lot 15 minutes away. The family car found shortly after. Nine months later, the thieves still on the run. Isaiah and his family still feeling the effects. Nightmare, so we're all in uh, therapy. They're also all involved in this lawsuit against Volkswagen, filed this week for negligence and emotional distress. VW telling CBS2, unfortunately, in this instance, there was a serious breach of the process. We are addressing the situation with the parties involved. How could you not give that information when you know what could happen to that little child? One month after this incident, Volkswagen began offering complimentary car net safe and secure connected vehicle emergency services for five years for Volkswagen customers. To date, though, VW has never reached out to the family personally. Live in the newsroom, Chris Ty, CBS 2 News. Joan Erica. Thank you, Chris.